So we've talked about the different types of sensory receptors in terms of different stimuli that can trigger them, um, cause them to respond and send a signal to your central nervous system. I wanna do a little bit more on somatosensory specifically. So these are um, mechanoreceptors that are located primarily um, in, your, in your skin or the, the layers of your skin, um, as well as in the muscles themselves. So somatosen sensation, the conscious types of, often conscious um, types of, of touch. So if you remember, sensor receptors can either be um, free nerve endings or unencapsulated or be capsulated. Special senses are a little different. There's often a separate cell. Um, so, and we'll see actually one of those as an example of somatosensory as well. Um, most general senses, meaning the somatosenses. So all the types of touch, um, stretch, pressure, um, movement and position of our limbs, most of those are one of these two. Okay, so let's look at these. Make that smaller and clear. Okay, so here are um, the types of somatosensory receptors that are located in the skin. There are two other types um, that are not in the, in the skin that I'll, I'll get to in a moment. So these are also in your, in your book in, in a table format. And these are all responsible for detecting different types of stimuli. And this is based on the structure that they have, right? So structure determines function. Um, we'll see examples of that. First, let's start simple. So free nerve endings. This is the ones, this is, this is those. So unencapsulated. Um, there's no special structure there. Um, we're just detecting via, there are gonna be like mechanoreceptors or um, special proteins at the ends of the cells that detect. So it can either be um, pain, so nociceptors, RA type, temperature. So this is thermoreceptors, thermoceptors, thermoceptors. Um, and there's some form mechanical as well. So there's some mechanoreceptors that detect touch just with free nerve endings. So you'll notice here, this is like kind of like dendrites. They're not actually dendrites um, because they are not, not the same thing. They're not attached to a um, cell body, but it is where a signal comes in. These are sensor receptors. So um, nerve endings is what these are called. And some of these nerve endings for, for different ones are specialized a little bit more. Here's then the sensory nerve. Um, this is going to travel, this is afferent signal in what type of neuron is this? So this is here, our free nerve endings, sensory nerve, and it's gonna go, just going this way, towards the spinal cord and synapse in the dorsal horn. And this is the ganglia, dorsal root ganglia. Ganglion is one. So that's where we, that's where we are, putting that into context. I'm not gonna do that for each one of these. Okay, um, so I've also mentioned before, so this is, a lot of this was in your skin chapter as well. It's, it's listed in both chapters. Your um, hairs actually have sensory, endings around them that detect when your hair moves. It's kind of all I want to say about that. Um, this is a type of exterior receptor for sure, right? Because um, these are always outside the body. 
versus there can be free nerve endings other places as well. So this is both inside the body and out, external and internal, intero, external only. Um, and this is a type of mechanoreceptor, I will write that. So it's detecting movement, mechanical stimulus. Okay, now we've got the more specialized ones. I'm gonna change color here just to um, break things up. So down here, we've got what's called tactile discs. So tactile means um, to touch. And these tactile discs are an example where there's a separate cell um, separate from the sensory neuron. So there's a Merkel cell. That's what this is. It's actually a specialized. What do you think? Can you see in here what kind of cell a Merkel cell might be? It's an epithelial cell, modified epithelial cell um, that is then connected um, physically to a nerve terminal. So here is the sensory nerve. There's another word. It's funny, this, this figure has um, them called different things. Sensory nerve, the same thing as a afferent nerve fiber. I think here, because it's the same, no, I actually, no, I think it, <laughs> it's because um, I don't really, that's not really worried about that. Okay, these two things together, the Merkel cell plus this terminal is a tactile disc. So it's like tactile disc is a functional thing that's going to detect and start information flow to the central nervous system. Um, these are also mechanoreceptors and external receptors. Right, so they're detecting out um, on the skin surface. They are detecting low frequency vibration. Low frequency vibration. And so that is then a type of mechanoreceptor. Right, make that make sense instead of memorizing both things. Vibration is movement. That's not temperature. Could be painful, but probably not. And that would be other receptors that would detect it if it becomes painful, if it reaches that kind of a threshold. Okay. Um, I'm going to change my color again and tell you about these deep ones down here. So again, now we're getting more specialized. We've got three here that have specialized structures. Um, these ones are bulbous, bulbous corpuscles. You can see this um, capsule that is surrounding these sensory dendrites that allow these corpuscles um, to respond to stretch. Does that kind of make sense? This is also a type of mechanoreceptor. These are located in the skin, so dermis which is shown here, also in the joint capsules. So a way of detecting your joint position. Okay, let's go to the lamellar corpuscles. These are also called um, vicinian corpuscles. I know we love like more names for everything, don't we? Um, so these are deep in the dermis, not as deep as, as bulbous actually, but, but deeper than some of the other temperature, pain, et cetera. Layers of collagen fibers. So specialized structure um, that allows these to respond to deep pressure right, opposed to some of the other less deep pressure. Um, and some stretch and high frequency vibration. And this is because of this, those layers of collagen fiber, fibers separated by um, fluid. 
Okay. Then lastly, we've got tactile corpuscles, not to be confused with tactile discs. Actually listed right there, um, but I'll label it up here as well. Tactile corpuscles. So these guys are a little bit more superficial in the skin, as you can see. Um, they are in the papillary dermis, actually. And they, especially in sensitive places like the fingertips and lips, right, where you have high um, sensitivity in small receptive fields, which I'll get to, they respond to light touch, which makes sense. Those are places where we can detect light touch and want to be able to have um, precision and sensitivity. Um, some vibrations as well. Okay, that is, those are the somatosensory receptors. The ones that are located in the skin. There is one, two more I want to mention. I'm gonna make them in red because they are associated with muscles and tendons. So one is muscle spindles. Um, you will see these with reflexes. Um, these are going to detect muscle contraction and, and stretch, so the length of the muscle. This is a type of mechanoreceptor. Then there are also Golgi tendon organs. These are in the tendons and they detect stretch of the tendons. So you can imagine these would be typically activated at the same time as muscle spindles. Um, similar ideas, right? But one's located in tendons, one muscle spindles. We'll look at muscle spindles more closely with the reflexes. 